what's happening everybody amp capo here black adonis games we are inside lyra starter game once again inside unreal engine 5. today is going to be a short sweet one probably only about a two minute video so i want to start it off as usual thanking all of the people who have subscribed since the last time that i posted the video and thanking all of my subscribers in general y'all the ones that keep it moving so um let's go ahead and go in and we are going to be answering the question of how do you add the spawn and death effects to your own character in lyra so you know the effects when the character dies and they spawn they vanish and appear let's go ahead and go in so i can show you guys how that is done all right so assuming you already have lyra installed and all that good stuff you want to go in and you want to find your characters folder and you want to go into your cosmetics and then you want to find this m underscore team color basic you want to double click on this you want to go inside here and then there's a set of nodes you want to copy all of these nodes do not copy this you can't copy and paste this node anyway so just copy this set of nodes here um, and I'll try to do a brief explanation. This is your team color. This is what is changed from red to blue in its current state in Unreal Engine. Um, this is how your team color is chosen. So um, that goes here and this is your kill edge color. So then you take that out and you're adding the mannequin uh, launch edge glow. So this is an effect. So Basically, you're adding those together, putting those into the emissive channel, and then you're going to have this masked opacity, which you're going to place into your opacity mask of your own color. I will show you, I mean, of your own material, I'm sorry. And um, I will show you the way that it looks in another material. So I'll just go pick one of uh, my other character's materials. So we can just go to this guy here. All right, for instance, so I'm going to open that character up. I'm going to go here to the mesh and open up. All right, and so this is it. You can see this is the node. I pasted it. I just didn't paste the box. And you want to put this to your emissive color or add it to your characters. So you could do like this, add. And then you can place one from here. And I'm just going to recorrect it because I hate when it does that, where it go puts it on the wrong one. There you go. And then we can go ahead and connect that to your base color. This will actually make it select. See, that's the color that your character's going to be. So your character's whole entire body will be the team color. So if you want it like that, that's how you accomplish that. I really don't want that. I want my characters to just keep their own color. Um, maybe have the glow around their body so I can see them when they're running on the map and all that good stuff. And so I'm just going to leave it like this. But like I said, guys, you just want to paste those there. And if you do not have this opacity mask exposed, you can go ahead here and you just want to go to your material blend mode and you want to change this from opaque or whatever else it is. Um, and you want to change that to mast. That way, this will be exposed for you to be able to use. All right, guys. So this is going to just mask that color over your materials color once you are dead or spawning in the game. All right. So that's it, man. Um, pretty simple stuff. Uh, once you do that, your character should spawn and die with the same effects as the default Lyra characters, all right? So uh, tell your friends, man, like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate y'all stopping by, man. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games.